Brother Ali Muhammad was born to parents who joined the Nation of Islam in the late 1960s. Like most children, Brother Ali started his own journey to live the principles and teachings of the Nation of Islam in 1989 during the highly conscious hip-hop golden age. If you want to know more about student minister Ali Muhammad, please read the rest of his bio in the description below. introduced you earlier we'll put that in there and we're gonna go ahead and start so we can kick it off okay okay all yes right. sir all right first of all how you doing today hey my brother i'm doing the best we can but brother we are ready and we are on fire in the nation of islam to defend the honorable minister louis farrakhan a good yes. man yes that has been banned all right from social media. so right now we all who are student ministers in the nation of islam with the honorable minister louis farrakhan is aching to talk mm-hmm. to our people and give them some comfort about the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and his work. And we want to defend him because we feel that a good man is being silent, which tells us that they do not want any good for us as a people, my brother. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, first of all, just uh, I know we introduced you, but uh, also just tell me about your ministry uh, in Florida because most of my listeners and you know are from Florida. Um, just tell us all the good things that's going on there as well. You know, yes, the, the, sir, brother. And I'm honored to be on your show, brother. Thank oh, you man. For thinking of your, na- your community, Nation of Islam. We operate within the state of Florida. This is called the seventh region of the Nation of Islam. And I serve as a student minister at Ron Moss in St. Petersburg, Florida. But we have outlets in Tampa, Jacksonville, oh, um, Pensacola. Um, Fort Myers, um, Miami is our headquarters, regional headquarters, and our student regional right. minister, Patrick Muhammad. So we're out here in the outer edge of the country, which is the lower part of the United States, or you call it the deep, deep south. Mm-hmm. And this is the gateway to the Caribbean. So the seventh region covers, in terms of the followers of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, all the way out to South America in the Caribbean. So we are out here promoting the aims, the directives of the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad as taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So we are honored, brother, that you thought enough of us to give us access to the beautiful minds of your listening audience. Yes, yes. Uh, we definitely, definitely appreciate you having, uh, appreciate you being on here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, for sure. Uh, and also, man, uh, let's just get to the the grits and the and the meat of this. Uh, you know, Donald Trump said something about a uh, Muslim ban. What do you think about that? I know I got that from uh, my cousin Jack. That was a question that I got from him, uh, John. So, what do you think about that? Uh, could you state your question again? The the, uh, the the Muslim ban that uh, our president was talking about, or why would he, you know, what what are y'all, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I can't speak for what our president is yes. uh, saying about a Muslim ban, but yeah. I can say constitutionally that mm-hmm. would not be fair because if the government of the United States stands on the Constitution. It states that we should have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and freedom of expression and assembly. So I would like to get more information on what the president is saying Mm -hmm. on why he said that. Um, That's what um, our position on that would be, Mm -hmm. a ban on Muslims. Right, right, right. Right, and then um, so... What's going on with the Louis Farrakhan? Because me personally, it's so much negative on Facebook. <laughs> it's so much, like it's so much people doing negative stuff on Facebook. So why would they ban Louis Farrakhan? That that don't make any sense at all when he's out here doing positivity. 
Yes, and that's what the concern of the uh, social media community is uh, questioning those who we have uh, received responses from and many of us who are students and followers of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. It really is touching the third third rail of the spirit and consciousness of black America because regardless of our people uh, being Christian and just being regular brothers in the community or part of the Pan-African community, the educated class, the entertainment class, and the athletic class, all of our community in black America know that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has been a brother, a father, and a friend. And even though they may not have joined the Nation of Islam, many of them have cousins and nephews, family members that might have gone to uh, prison and, and came back, became Muslims, and made them the words that they heard from the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has made them better human beings and also have adopted names. Many of us got names like Jamal and Hassan and names like Ali and Mustafa. These names are, hasn't been, wasn't common among us in times past, but today it's common because the Nation of Islam and the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan introduced these names, which are characteristics of the divine creator, almighty God, Allah. So we have been destroyed in terms of what our history has been. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is why we uh, are named after the Europeans that have um, captured our fathers and reared us here in America. So we you see us today uh, having names like Hassan, Muhammad, and Ali because a lot of us want to relate to our natural um, uh, people in natural culture. So names like Tom, Billy, Jack, Jane, and Heather, these connect us to a European background, and it doesn't make sense in 2019 to be wearing European, German, Irish, Italian names when we uh, geographically come from a people that is in the eastern part of the planet Earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, and I mean, do you know any reason of why would he be banned? What 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 is the negative thing that he is putting up that they're saying? Well, uh, that is for Facebook to um, um, say and lay out. And, mm-hmm. But I imagine, um, you know, they probably are operating from some policies that uh, trying to put Minister Farrakhan in a crowd of people who uh, speak. Uh, against other people and things of that nature. But the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is not in that crowd of like a KKK or Aryan nation because the Nation of Islam is just telling the truth of what Europeans have done to the darker people of the planet Earth. And mainly we, being black people in America, numbering from 40 to 50 million black people, we were not uh, brought here on the Nina, the Pinto, and the Santa Maria, but we were brought here in the holes of ships. So if God blesses us with a voice for the voiceless and the voice of the oppressed, why would that man be characterized as someone that's dangerous when he's just teaching us the truth of the condition and pointing out to us the people who have put us in this condition to make us uh, as savage as we have become? This has not been the condition of black people before slavery. We were not drug drug dealers in Africa. We were not uh, rapists and robbers and people who uh, are displaying savagery of, of all kinds here in America. This wasn't our way in Africa. So we are made in America, good brother. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan exposes this condition to the world and offers a solution. So for them to ban the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, it just shows them and shows us their hands and shows us that they do not have our best interest at heart. My brother, let that go back to something you said about our president stating that there's a ban on Muslims, you say? Yes, Yes, sir. You can go back to that. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I want to go back to that to just clarify, because as a Muslim, I have accepted Islam, which is 
which means one who uh, submission to the will of God, and that is a Muslim, one who is striving to submit their will to do the will of God. You and I speak English, but we're not from England. But when you look up the word, when you hear the word Muslim, that is an Arabic word, which means one who submits their will to do the will of God. And Islam means peace. So we are a people of peace. You don't see us in Africa with army, navies, and marines. You ever, you never see that. Mm-mm. Because black people in Africa, we were not people who fashioned metal or the elements of the earth to shoot it into human flesh to solve our problems. This wasn't our approach to problem solving. We as black people have a different creed. And Islam teaches us that creed from Almighty God, Allah. God, who raised the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and has taught the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and many of the luminaries such as Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali that has changed the very consciousness of black America. And that's why I say that whether our brothers and sisters who are black in the black community join the nation or not, they still glean on, in black, on, in, during Black History Month information from members of the Nation of Islam, teachers and leaders from the Nation of Islam to empower themselves, which teaches us that the nature of the black man is peace. The nature of the black man is submission to the will of Almighty God. And America was founded on principles of Islam. I don't know if I, if y'all hear yeah, it. Yeah, up. Yeah. It's going in the back. Crackling. Quentin. Yeah, I'm I'm here. I don't I don't have any I have my phone on mute. My uh, my microphone on mute, so Yeah. So go ahead. Right, it right, sounds like it right, right, right. what I wanted to go back to is that yes. they, they, this hypocritical talk about banning Islam, if that's what the you said the president said, mm-hmm. that would be hypocritical because in mathematics, in the public school system they teach us about the um, the Arabic number system. Yes. The Arabic number system consists of zero to nine. Those mm-hmm. figures are Arabic numerals. So the European used, was using the Roman numerals. So in order for you to get higher mathematics, you have to use the Arabic number system, which they learned from the Muslims or the Moors in Europe to get them out of the dark ages. So if you put a ban on Muslims, you can't even advance scientifically. Mm. So I don't understand that because there's an aspect of mathematics that was discovered in Tikrit, the area where uh, that's next to Baghdad, which is called Arith. Arithmetic. Arithmetic, the prefix in that word is aris. Aris. That is an Arabic word that means that he equalizes that which is on the left with that which is on the right. So this is these are things that show you that America is hypocritical. They want to put a ban on Muslims. Muslims played a major part in bringing Europeans out of the dark ages. So for them to put a ban on Islam is to deny science, mathematics, and higher learning itself. That's some strong words, brother. That's some strong yes, words. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, when you have anything. No, I don't have anything. I don't have anything at all, man. It, you know, it, I yeah. enjoyed everything, and I definitely appreciate you and coming on. The, uh, the, uh-huh. the one, one thing I do want to say, um, you know, even Wait, though, I'm sorry. Let me let me correct something I said. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Just go back to. I mean, it's okay, but the floor is yours. Matter who the mathematics I'm saying that equalizes that which is on the left with the right is called Al-Jabbar. I'm sorry, Al-Jabbar. You ever heard of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Yes. Right. Yeah. That is a yeah, that is a Muslim name. A, a characteristic of God, meaning it, that which equalizes that which is on the left with that which is on the right, which brings about balance. 
Al-Jabbar, or they mm. say it in Hebrew or Greek, algebra, but it's mm. Al-Jabbar. But arithmetic is uh, a word that means one who counts, one who counts. So that I wanted to correct that. Because anytime we make a mistake, we want to correct that so that anybody Googling or doing any research, we won't be found saying other than the truth. Because we have great respect for the human mind, and we want all people to be edified by the truth and the teachings of Islam, especially the teachings of Islam as taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So simply this ban on the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan we believe that um, our um, organizers within the Nation of Islam very shortly is going to release a statement because we believe that this is an attack against our First Amendment right. Yes. Freedom of a speech and freedom of expression. They're going to have to clarify why the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan's social media page has been taken down, but also it should tell us that the people to who, who destroyed us brutalized us, raped us, and robbed us, and destroyed us, know they're wrong. We know they're wrong, but we have to be adult enough to know that when they want to kick you out of their house for knowing that now it's time to pay up, and we're asking for reparations for them to pay up for what they have done to us, we have to be mature enough to say, if you want us out of your house, we're going to be like the Chinese who built Chinatown. We're going to be like the Italian who built Italian town. We're going to be like the Mormons who bought the state of Seattle and are living in America, mm. of America, but they live to themselves. So this is not a pipe dream that we as black people can't set up black town in every major city. All the restaurants, the banks, the um, financial centers are owned and operated by black people. You can see mm. this happening in Jamaica. You can see this happening in Aruba. You can see this happening in Haiti. Black people live together with black people, and they are the owners and the controllers and the producers and those who are operating on the land that they own and operate. And this is why Brother Nipsey Hussle, his life was such a great example and is taking on a strong effect among our young people because our young people know that jobs won't make you wealthy. Our yeah. young people want to be entrepreneurs. They want to be owners and producers. They want to be able to offer an education that concerns the self-interest of our young people, not to be taught that George Washington never told a lie and he chopped mm-hmm. down a cherry tree, which is a lie. Mm-hmm. So we have an opportunity with the a blessing of the Internet and social media that you can give your children college subjects at the age of six and seven years old and if they know how to play a game and they know the latest song by beyonce and carter b and kodak black then that That's means fine. that they learn mathematics <laughs> science um yeah. uh, uh, uh neurophysics and all of the sciences that they say are hard if you give yeah. it to a child it don't know it know it's hard unless you tell them it's hard and they yeah. will start to produce great minds that we need to show that we can compete in the field of the of ideas and we can't cry no more about yeah. oh the white man this and the white man that no america is the richest country on earth and we have to stop whining and crying we have to accept the responsibility and take advantage of what's offered in america and use it to pull ourselves up but at the same time make america to know that she owes a debt to black people because we built america on the back of the our forefathers. Hey, yes, I like that. I like that, man. That made yeah. me want to believe because that's how I feel. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to go out there and get it. And 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 and, and you know, as a young black man myself, I want to be an entrepreneur. And that's why I like listening to Louis Farrakhan. He made me believe that I. He made me want to be and go out there and be a sharecropper and learn how to you know, produce my own food. And that's why I really admire him. And it's sad to me that they are taking down him. It's very sad they're taking down his fit. And they really have to explain. You said they're going to uh, do an explanation on, you know, of, you know, the, you know what you're saying, they're going to come out, somebody's going to come out and say something. Where, yeah, how, how are we going to see that? Farrakhan is going to 
make our legal department is going to make a national statement yes. because this has gone all over the world mm-hmm. and the love and the expression from people all over the earth and from every strata of life is responding and saying shame on you Facebook mm-hmm. because here is a citizen of America who's at the top of the work of reform of black people who the media in Hollywood has ca- called us the Achilles heel of this nation, the way we're portrayed in movies and television and the um, record recording industry. This is not the days when rap music was an advocacy art form where we used the rapping to tell the story of what was going with, on with us in the hood across America, but the wicked record companies that got brother uh, Dane Dash called the uh, culture vultures has mm-hmm. gotten their hands on this art form that we produce from the records, the old records in our parents' uh, uh, um, <sighs> attic. And we use these records in this art form called rap to express ourselves for the uh, for the benefit of healing our condition in the ghettos of America. So we as black people are interested in telling the world, yeah. hands off the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, because the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has been a father to the fatherless. He is a teacher that the scripture says, how can they know unless they have a teacher? How can they have a teacher and he be sent, and he be sent, be not sent? So white people don't need nobody to teach them. They own everything. So Mm -hmm. that scripture had to be only be only talking to the black people of America who had no one to teach us who we are, where we come from, and give us pride in ourselves. And the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was one who did that. And the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is carrying them on that tradition. He wants you and us as young people to have a future, just like whites build by insurance policies for their children. We as black people have to build an insurance policy for our own children so that they can know that they wasn't born for nothing. There's a purpose for their life, but we have to burn the midnight oil and take seriously the future of our people because Almighty God has come and is present. And the nation of Islam is willing to take the job to lead our people to green pastures. Yes, yes. Man, there's some good stuff here. I, I really want to go ahead and put this out there. Uh, last question. Uh, I'll close us, and then Winton's going to close us out. Um, how can, you know, brothers like ourselves that's not a part, but, but be a part, or, you know, just be, you know, be, have Louis Minister come back on, you know, on this, on this time? Right now, with our people showing an abundance of love and their disapproval with Facebook and Instagram, what they've done to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, we are directing those who would like to express themselves by going on to our platform, social media platform called N S. A Studios. N is in Nancy, S is in Frank, A is in Apple. NFA, Never Fall Again Studios, is a platform similar to Netflix, similar to uh, Amazon Prime, that you can get content that leads to consciousness, uplifting music, things of the uh, content that lead to our self interest and upliftment where we don't have to feel bridled by rules and draconian policies that keeps us subjugated from expressing ourselves as black people that we can connect with other black people that think as we think. So again, that is called NSA Studio. And you can always download and watch live every Sunday and uh, 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 recording and messages by the Nation of Islam and the student ministers of the Nation of Islam at NOI.org, NOI.org. If you would like to plug in on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., you can get your pen and pad, dictionary, Bible, information that you subscribe to and plug in and listen to the representatives authorized by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that is teaching every Sunday at 11 a.m. 
on NOI.org, webcast live, NOI.org. Again, that social media site, if you would like to be a part of that social media site uh, called NSA Studios, you can log in and go on um, Google and get that, join that, and subscribe. And also for um, hearing from the Nation of Islam representatives mm -hmm. and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan messages, yeah. you can go to noi.org. All right, so uh, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and close out from student minister Ali Muhammad, from JB Written, from Real Name Winton. Uh, this is Everyday Heroes signing out. Peace and assalamu alaikum.